Hey guys, ADHD here. In today's video, I'll be showing us how to build this awesome gaming setup slash office. Um, but before we get started on that, I wanted to let you guys know that on my other channel, I just did a brand new video actually touring my real life gaming setup slash office. So definitely want you guys to check that out. I'll put a link in the description. I'll also put a, like a link in the top uh, right quarter. It's like a little like eye. It's like the card system. So you click on that and you can go there as well. Um, definitely recommend you guys check it out. I would love for, to see you guys over there. You don't have to subscribe if you don't want to, but I just want you guys to see the actual setup. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me like, you know, what computer I use, what mic I use, all this stuff. So everything's in that video. It's a full tour of the whole room. So we're going to start on this though right now. So for this build, you're going to need a block of quartz. You're going to need oak planks. You're going to need glowstone, bookshelves, you're going to need red wool, black wool, and also some white stained glass panes or regular glass panes. Um, and we're gonna need some other stuff as we go, obviously, but for right now, it's all we're gonna need. So let's get started. Okay, so starting out, we're gonna be using the block of quartz and we're gonna go to the right with a total of seven block of quartz. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Once you've done that, we're gonna go ahead and add three more layers, that exact same thing, to make a total of four high. And, oh. Messed up. <laughs> Boom. Messed up the simplest thing ever. Okay, and then after that, we're going to get the oak planks out, and we're going to go around the entire thing one time. And there you go. And then now what we're going to do is go to the bottom left real quick, over here, or the right. It really doesn't matter, actually. And we're going to do a total of six blah, oh, what's called oak planks going to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and do the same thing on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then coming back to either side, what you're going to do is on the second row, you're going to do two oak planks, one, two. Then you're going to do three glass panes, one, two, three. Then one oak plank. Then the rest of the way up, it's just all oak planks. And then we'll do the same thing on this side over here. From the front, we're going to go to the left, a total of two, one, two. And then three glass panes, one, two, three. Then a one oak plank. Then again, it's going to be just oak planks all the way the rest of the way up. All right, perfect. So now that we've done this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually do the little bit of the interior design for the room. So what you're gonna do is on the front right here, you're gonna do two rows of oak planks. So one, then two. And then on the right side, you're gonna do two rows of oak planks as well. So one, two. This side over here on the back, on this the left side, it's gonna be the same thing. One, two. And then just do one that connects both these sides to each other. And then this whole little sun area, just fill it with glowstone. And boom, so that's like a nice lighting system. Now what we're gonna do is get some bookshelves out and we're gonna go along the entire inside corners just like this with these bookshelves. Perfect, and now that you've done that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove all the inside flooring. So we're gonna remove all this and just, you know, fill it with uh, the carpet we're gonna be putting in there in a second. Uh, so this house is like, I know this house, this like build is really, really cool because you could easily insert this into any of the houses that I've shown you guys how to build. I've shown you guys how to build tons of houses. So this is just a really cool room to add into them. So the first row in the, uh, the like the flooring is going to be a full row of red. Then it's going to be black, then red, and just going to be keep it transitioning. You can do like a checkered pattern too if you'd like. Uh, I went for a stripe for mine though. And then the last row should be black. All right, so now we are done with the actual room itself. Now we have to add all the furniture that's within it. So give me a second to get my interior uh, loaded with the stuff I need. Okay, so we're gonna need a few other things, but for the desk, what we're gonna need is a block of quartz. You're going to need black wool, paintings. You're going to need a wither skull, skeleton skull, a pressure plate, a button, a flower pot, a, a quartz slab, and also three trap uh, doors. So what we're gonna do is basically one block away from the wall, these like four, these like five center blocks, you're going to go ahead and do one block of quartz, three black wool, one, two, three, then one block of quartz. Next row, do the exact same thing. And then on both the left and right side, add one block of quartz. All right. And then right back here in these three center blocks, what you're going to do is get your block of quartz and do three. So one, two, three, and then get a painting out and just go ahead and add a painting to each of those. Make sure that the single painting now. So it's kind of like a triple monitor setup. And if you want to, actually, you could extend this room by one and you could make it like an ultra wide that would be like, you know, like one just, oops, just like one, like, you know, it can't get one, of course, but like just one of those like wider paintings. I can't get one for every reason, but there you go, like this. So it would kind of be like an ultra wide setup. But for now, we'll just do like a triple monitor regular setup. Okay, and then right here, go ahead and place a pressure plate and then a button right here for the mouse. This is like the keyboard and here's the mouse. And they got your wither skulls. And in these corner pockets right here, just go ahead and place one down the backwards direction now. Because they're kind of like speakers, so you don't want to see the face. Boom, right there. 
And then once you've done that, go get your flower pot and put that right here for a cup. And then and now I have a few more things. Oh, let me do the chair. <laughs> so the chair is gonna go right here in this black stripe. And I'm gonna place a trap door on all the sides, of course, in order to like make it chair-like. And then push all those up. All right, and then we need a little, a few more things, but I'll just, I'm not gonna cut ahead for these because it's really quick. You're gonna need a creeper head, a zombie head, a skull, a skeleton skull. And then we're also going to need to get out a item frame and then also a uh, bow and arrow. Boom, just like that. And then what you're gonna do is basically in these three center blocks right here, you're going to do a skeleton, a creeper, and a zombie. And then on this right here, you're gonna put a item frame and then put a bow and try and make the bow like it's aiming towards the heads. And then on this side, put another item frame and put like an arrow going like through the heads. So it's kind of like a triple collateral artwork. It's pretty cool, I think. And then what we need last to finish this all up is we're going to need a armor stand, I think they're called, the armor stand. And then we're gonna need whatever armor you'd like. If you wanna do gold, you can do that. Um, I'm using diamond for mine though. And in both these corners, place a little um, armor stand and then just add on all of the armor to it. So it's kind of like statues in your office. And I just think this setup looks really, really cool. So that is actually it though, guys. That's the end of this uh, tutorial. Very simple. You can easily insert this into any of the houses I showed you guys how to build thus far. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. As I said, there's a video of my actual real life setup in the description. Go check that out. Um, but anyway, guys, again, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new here, please subscribe. I build loads of crazy stuff on Minecraft all the time. So I definitely recommend you subscribe for that stuff and much more. If you guys can hit the like button before you go, I would greatly appreciate that. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for just watching this video. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Adios.